when she was stuck with her cold boss in the elevator. Tehyang raised his steely gaze on his assistant Wayan, who was shivering in cold sweat. I told you that I don't want any mistake regarding this project. Look what you did. He snorted, making her to flinch. I'm sorry, sir. It is just typing mistake. I can correct it. She mewed while he scoffed. Forget it and get ready for the meeting. She nodded her head, then she bowed him and strode out of the office. As she got out from the office, she punched in the air multiple times. Then she blew air and lifted some hair strands before she mumbled to herself, "Meeting my foot. If there is nothing to point out, still he find error." Ah. Uh. Soon they both went for a meeting and met the other company CEO, who was Mr. Jeon Jungkook. The meeting went well while Jungkook arranged lunch for Taehyung and Wayan. Munching on his food, Jungkook complimented Wayan, "I must say your IQ level is great." Wayan smiled and complimented him back, "Ah, sir, it is my pleasure that you noticed it. Well, I love the food you arranged for us. Thank you so much for the heavenly lunch." Suddenly, she felt piercing gaze of her boss crawling through her spine. She tilted her head slowly and saw him throwing daggers with his icy cold gaze while Jungkook's voice reverberated in her ears. "Well, the deal is already cracked, so we are going to meet often. Let's see how you are going to treat us." Wan again tilted her head back to Jungkook's before she smiled sheepishly then she heard her boss uttering, "Of course, we will not give you any reason to point out any mistake in our hospitality." Then he sat up and looked at Wan before he snorted. If you are done filling your mouth, can we go? She nodded her head and sat up. So did Jungkook and shook his hand with first Taehyung, then with Wayan. She pursed her lips in thin line when Jungkook did not leave her hand. Then Taehyung looked at both of their hands. Mr. Jeon, if you leave my assistant's hand only, then she will be able to walk right. Taehyung pointed at their hands, and Jungkook gained his senses back and left her hand abruptly. Sorry, Miss Wine. After that, Wine with her boss left to their own office, while Jungkook was adoring Wine from her back while watching her disappearing figure as he fell for her at first sight. The whole ride was suffocating for Wine because of her boss, who was emanating an aura of Dead Sea. Everything around them was just too still because of his demeanor. As he reached to the elevator, Wine parted her way from him while he snorted, "Where are you going?" Wine's feet halted, and she turned around to look at him, who was already gazing at her. To to the staff's elevator, she shuddered. Then he clenched his jaws annoyingly. "I need you in my office, so come with me." She looked back and forth if she heard it correctly, cause no one can use that elevator except CEO and other directors. She was in her trenchy when she again said, "Are you deaf? I said I need you in my office, so just don't waste my time." She hummed. Then she followed him behind to the elevator while mumbling to herself, "I just got fresh air to breathe, but no, he is going to suffocate me to death." He tightened his head while tapping on the elevator button before he punctured. Did you say something? She shook her head abruptly. No, I did not say anything. He hummed and stood in the center while Wan was behind him, cursing him under her breath. When they were about to reach their floor, the elevator began to shake and stop abruptly, with some unpleasant sound letting them to stumble in into the wall. Wan was plastered in the corner, and her bag fell on the floor while Taehyung supported himself, keeping his hand on the same corner. After a while, they realized that they were facing each other. While Wan lifted her lashes and her breath hissed, he was so close towards her, covering her petite figure with his scant one. And their eyes looked for a while. Then she immediately lowered her head, and he turned around precipitously. Then he fished out his phone and tried to call the control room, but there was no network, and he cursed. Shit. The air was already cold. Now I turned into chill. When he turned his head towards her, who took out her phone from her bag? To her chagrin, there was no network in her phone too. There is no network, she said while he cut her off while keeping his hand on his waist. Then use your IQ level so that we can get out from this elevator. He taunted. It looked like he did not like it when someone was complimenting her while she punched and kicked him mentally. A smile kept on her lips, imagining that while he frowned before he cleared his. Throat. Did I joke around Miss Wine? We are stuck here. Wine gestured him to cool down with her hands. Then she turned to elevator door before she shouted, "Can someone hear us? Please help us. We are stuck here." Hello, anyone is there? Hello. She shouted multiple times, but no use. And turned around to look at her cold boss who was sweating. It looked like he was not feeling good. Sir, are you okay? 
she asked and saw some red rashes under his chin while he nodded his head through he was not feeling good but you don't look like he clenched his jaws before he snorted yes i am not so try to open this elevator otherwise i will be suffocated when scoffed in wildly the one who can suffocate anyone just with his presence can be suffocated too i can't do anything until someone find it on its own so we can only wait she said while he was getting sick with each passing minutes and his rashes become darker from pink to scarlet he was aggrievedly scratching on his neck while wine could not bear with it and come close to him can i help you to ease your problem she asked while he became baffled how can she ease his problem in this closed and hot elevator and how will you do it he said exasperatedly then wine took out her water bottle and gave it to him have some water first he took the bottle from her hand then he gulped down half of the bottle while wine clutched his hand before she whispered please save some for further use he frowned and looked at her hand which was clutching his hand what are you doing she released her impulsive act and left his hand abruptly while moving her head back and forth and the same was with him whatever it was but he did not feel disgusted when she touched him when he again began to scratch his neck his gaze fell on her back before he chimed you said you can ease my problem she again turned to him and nodded her head hesitantly then do it he said while she pointed her index finger at his tie and his blazer if you can remove them then it will be best she said while he cut her off questioningly what ye yeah, you will feel better he licked his lip nervously cause his brain gave him wrong signal for a while before he got her point then he tried to unbutton his blazer while wine was staring at him since he was already nervous and sick due to he said to in his brain he said tremble and he could not unbutton his blazer then he tried to loose his tie but he revealed it more instead of unveiling it and his tie almost thwarted him wine could not help but step towards him making him froze on his spot his heart beat increased when her fingers touched under his chin and she removed his tie then she opened two of his button and blew air on his exposed neck He felt an exotic sensation tickling on his whole body then she grabbed them off his blazer and looked at him while he was nervous as hell with her being close to him and became zoned out He saw her moving her lips and shaking her head in front of his eyes Sir can you please turn around I need to remove it she snapped her fingers in front of him bringing him back to reality Can you please turn around so that I can remove it he hummed and turned around letting her to remove his blazer Then she came before him and curled her lips. Do you have a handkerchief? He joined his brows before he nodded his head. All this time he almost forgot that he has some rashes problem while he rummaged his pocket and took out his handkerchief and passed it to her being curious that will she do with it. Then wine soaked the leftover water in it making it all wet and again came close to him while folding it in triangular shape. He did not know why but to he was letting her do whatever she was doing while she brought it to his neck and spread it on the rashes area which felt good to him then she tiptoed and snagged her head to the back of his neck while trying to tie it but he was too tall to tie it with her she gestured him to bend a little then he followed the signal and bent down his warm breath hit on the side of her neck of which she felt weakness in her knees and her hands trembled Then she somehow managed to tie the two corners. It is done, she said, and moved away as soon as possible, showing her back to him. Thanks, he said, and a slight curve appeared on his lips. Then she hummed and took his belongings in her hands. They were waiting for the elevator to be opened, so they just stood there awkwardly. Soon the elevator worked, and they reached their floor before he barked in his office. While she took his blazer and tie in her hands, including her bag and bottle, and followed him behind. At the same time, she felt some stares of other employees, which she shrugged off like a dust and stood in his office. He was too exhausted to work there for he sat on the couch while Wan kept all the stuff on the coffee table and fetched him water. He took the water while she switched on the air con so that he can feel some relief. So you should take some rest you will feel better. Her melodious voice reverberated in his ears and he felt the surroundings peaceful and relaxing. The day passed and everyone left for their respective home. 
Next two days was weakened, so neither Vine nor Taehyung come office. While he was feeling better from before, so he called Vine to do some pending work while she refused. Sorry sir, I have some personal matter to solve. Her voice rang through the phone while she hung up the call making him to clench his jaws. How dare she cut the call without listening to me? He gritted his teeth and threw the phone on the bed then he mumbled. I just wanted to see her. Wait, why would I want to see her? I just wanted to treat her. No. Who is she? Just a mere employee? But deep down he was missing her. But why? Maybe she was helped him in the elevator. That's why. The next day, Wine came to the office and reported her boss with his schedule. While he emanated the same cold aura and out of his ego, he only hummed. After working the whole day, Taehyung visited his factory to show the products of his collaborator who was known other than Jeon Jungkook. After reviewing the product, Taehyung, Wine and Jungkook went to a restaurant for dinner. As it was already planned to have dinner together. Working with Kim company will be a great experience, I think. Jungkook said while looking at Vine, then Taehyung curled her lips. Of course, Vine was tightening her head back and forth, then Jungkook looked at her and tossed a smile which was not unnoticed by Taehyung. It looks like you don't have an assistant cause I did not see anyone with you. Taehyung sneered annoyingly, then Jungkook retorted. I do. Actually, she is on leave of her marriage. Taehyung nodded his head up and down while taking his bite. Then Jungkook again looked at Vine before he whispered, These days, I am getting a vibe that I will soon find my partner too. Taehyung choked on his food making Vine to look at him. She immediately passed him water while tapping on his back, which was of course again an impulsive act while Taehyung understood a man's inner feelings. While Vine did not pay much attention to Jungkook's word, Are you all right, Mr. Kim? Jungkook said, gaining Taehyung's attention, who then nodded his head. The way Miss Vine acted, anyone can say that you guys are in a secret relationship. Vine's jaw dropped and she instantly shook her hand in front of Jungkook. No, no, Anyo. Jungkook curved his lips in O shape and took a sigh of relief while Taehyung was looking at him with her burning eyes. After having their dinner, they parted their ways. Wine was waiting for a taxi while the boss drove their car from the parking lot. Jungkook was first to come while Taehyung was behind him. Then Jungkook saw Wine standing for the taxi so he stopped his car in front of her. If you don't mind, can I drop you? See, I will feel bad if see you standing like this. She gave a sheepish smile. I can manage, sir. I already booked a taxi. It is on the way. Jungkook shocked his head before he reported. Whatever, you can cancel it. Otherwise, I won't go until I see you going safe from here. Then they heard a car horn from behind and Jungkook got a chance to convince Vine. Look, you are blocking others' way, so just come, I will drop you. Vine thought for a while and it was getting late, so she sat in the car, then they left. Meanwhile, Taehyung jumped out from his car and closed the door with a loud bang. What is wrong with her? How easily she is giving him green signal? Now she will make me worry, he blabbered to himself before he left. Half an hour later, Taehyung was found in his living room, walking back and forth exasperatedly. He did not know why, but his heart was sinking while he was feeling nervous. Then he sat on the couch and opened his laptop, but he could not focus on his work and closed it irritatingly. Then he looked at his phone and called Vine while her voice rang in his ear. Hello, hello sir, are you there? At first, he did not find any word to speak, cause he did not know why even he called her, then he heard some noise in the background. He frowned before he snorted. Are not you at your home? Mm, no. Mr. John wanted to have some fresh air after dinner, so he asked me if I can accompany him for some time. He cut her off. So you are accompanying him? He grating his teeth while she home, making him more annoyed. Next day, Taehyung came early at the office and was waiting for Vine while wandering here and there for about an hour. He looked at his wristwatch and it showed sharp nine. Then he scoffed inwardly. Where the hell she is? Good morning, sir. Her voice reverberated in his ears before he turned around and saw the person he was waiting for eagerly. He licked his lips while a wave of emotion passed through him at the same time Vine frowned. What happened to you, sir? You have dark circles. Did she know he could not sleep the whole night imagining unnecessary stuffs? Not only that he even went to look for her, but he could not find her. After thinking this, he backfired on her while showing her the time. Look at the time. Your half salary of a day will be cut. 
वन पार्टेड हर लिप्स इन डिस बिलीफ शी वॉज ओनली फोर्टी नाइन सेकेंड्स लेट सॉरी सर आई वोक अप लेट येट आई कम ऑन टाइम एंड इट इज़ जस्ट सम सेकेंड यू कान कट माई सैलरी अन रीजनेबली वोक अप लेट वाई वट वॉज शी डूइंग एट नाइट द शी वोक अप लेट द यंग्स माइंड रैन लाइक अ रोलर कोस्टर एंड ही सेट ऑन हीज बिग चेयर वाई टेकिंग डीप ब्रेथ हाउ वुड ही आज वट शी वॉज डूइंग दैट शी वोक अप लेट येट ही हैज़ टू नाउ दैन ही सेट प्रोफेशनली Then give me a valid reason of your being late. While lowered her head before she whispered, "I was with Mr. Gion." He immediately sat up from his chair and strode towards her, making her to stop in the middle of her sentence. Then he grabbed her shoulder before he sneaked. Did he force you for anything? Did he take you to his home or hotel? Let me see. Where did he touch you? I am telling you, he is using you for your company's secrets. Tilting his head, he tried to peek around her neck and jaw while she looked at him with her jaw dropped before she detached his hand from her shoulders. Sir, what are you saying? Why would Mr. Gion will take me to his home or hotel? He is very nice person I have ever seen. He liked what he just asked to her, yet he was with him. He straightened his posture before he spoke formally. Then why were you with the CEO of another company that too till late night? Why lifted her lashes and made eye contact with him before she chimed? A friend of his met an accident, so he has to go to the hospital immediately. But he did not want to leave me alone, and he had no time to drop me at my home. And so I suggested him to go first hospital, then to drop me. That was how I got late. He becomes speechless upon hearing her. Then only one word escaped from his mouth: "Oh." Wan jerked her shoulder as a chill crawled to her spine while realization hit her that her cold boss grabbed her shoulders this thought alone gave her thousand volt current meanwhile the young who was sitting on his chair was staring at both of his palm he was flabbergasted that why he was so anxious when he got to know she was with a man late at night The week passed, and after arranging her stuffs at evening, Wai reported Tae Hyung about the work. In these past days, Tae Hyung grew a kind of different feeling for Wai, and always find excuses to make conversation with her. But she always stayed professional with him, which annoyed him the most. Then he came up with an idea, and he strode toward her, who was about to leave. Her timing to leave office was different than other employees. When all the staff leave, then she has to report her boss, and after that only she will take her leave. As saying, found wine at the elevator. He stopped her by saying, "Wine, mm, I was saying that the chef at my home is on leave, so there is no one to cook for me. So can you accompany me for dinner at a restaurant?" Her heart skipped a beat. This was the first time her boss asked for an informal dinner. She hesitated. Then she replied, "I, I, I already has a plan tonight." The young smiled sheepishly. So did she, and parted their ways to the elevator. As they go down, they together stepped out from their respective elevator. The young's gaze fell on her, who was walking to the exit. Then he frowned to see a familiar figure before he blabbered. What is he doing here? He clenched his fist before he took fast to step the parking lot. Thanks for coming with me. Otherwise, I would feel that you did not accept my apology. Jungkook said while pulling the chair of her in restaurant. She sat on the chair, so did he, and thanked him. Then she again parted her lips. It is my pleasure, but you don't need to feel sorry. Anyone who was there would have done the same. Jungkook nodded his head and smiled. Not everyone is as kind as you. Thanks for cooperating that night to help my friend. Otherwise, who showed this kind of gestures? He said while looking at her. Till then, a waiter came to them. What would you like to have? Jungkook asked when Wine smiled. Anything will be okay. I am not very big for food. He gave orders to the waiter before he looked at her. It looked like we are kind of same. What do you say? Suddenly, Wine felt uncomfortable with an invisible piercing gaze on her. Then she said awkwardly, "I guess so." Soon, the orders were placed on the table, and they started to dig in the food. While Tae Hyung was staring at her from far, he was feeling like to just burn everything around him. He unknowingly stalked them to her, just to witness them having dinner together. He saw Jungkook to clean the corner of her lips with his thumb, and he felt uncomfortable with it. Then he saw Wine to move her lips. Mr. Jeon, please, I can do this. Jungkook leaned back before he whispered, "Sorry, I just could not see your pretty lips smudged with sauces." The young's heart dropped in his stomach. Pretty lips. He sat up abruptly. Then he heard Jungkook again, and he halted. If you don't mind, can I ask you a personal question? She nodded her head while he continued. 
आर यू इन अ रिलेशनशिप आई मीन डू यू हैव अ बॉयफ्रेंड और सम वन यू आर क्रशिंग ओवर इफ नॉट कैन आई हैव अ चांस टू डेट यू बिफोर शी शुड हैव प्रोसीड एनी थिंग शी फेल्ट हैंड ग्रैबिंग हर जार टाइटली वाइल शी लिफ्टेड हर गेज अप सबकॉन्शियसली बिफोर शी वाइंड हर आईज इन एस्टोनिशमेंट टेन बेंड ओवर हर एंड देन ही स्मैच हीज लिप्स ऑन हर लिविंग जंक कुक डम सट्रक हु सेट अप अब्रप्टली विद हीज माउथ ओपन वट इज़ गोइंग ऑन हेयर जंक कुक बाग वाइल वन फोर्सफुली डिटैच हर सेल्फ फ्राम हर बोस एंड सेट अप अवर करली देन टेहिंग वाइफ हीज लिप्स विद द बैक ऑफ हीज हैंड बिफोर ही कर्ल हीज लिप्स वॉट डू यू एक्सेप्ट फ्राम माई सीक्रेट गर्ल फ्रेंड टू रिबेल अबाउट हर सीक्रेट रिलेशनशिप वाइन टाटल हर हेड टू आर्स हिम विद शोक एक्सप्रेशन वाइल प्रोसेसिंग द थिंग जस्ट हैपन शी शोक हर हेड बिफोर शी ग्रैब हर पर्स एंड लेफ्ट फ्राम देयर वाइन बेबी स्टॉप डोंट गेट एंग्री विद मी ते ही एक सैड दैन ही टर्न हीज हैड टू आर्स जंक बिफोर हीज चिम सॉरी बट माई गर्ल फ्रेंड नीड्स मी मोर दैन यू मिस्टर जियोन होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दैन ही रैन आफ्टर वाइन एंड फाउंड हर रनिंग ऑन दी रोड एम लेसली ही फॉलोड हर एंड ग्रैब हर वरिस्ट There is no use running away from me, Miss Wine. She turned around and pulled her hand before she snorted. Yeah, right. And you have no right to kiss me in a public place. Actually, no way. What will people think? That how loose character I am. Then she again turned around as was taking fast step while he again clutched her wrist before he yanked her towards him. But I want to kiss you every single place only if you allow me. Her heart skipped a long beat and she found herself staring at him. When you touched me for the first time I did not feel bad and the concern you showed for me gave me an unexplained emotion that I am not able to think anything other than you He moved some hair stand from her face and tucked behind the ear before he continued It feel good and when you are around me and when I see you with that June I felt like to just burn him alive He encircled his another hand around her back while she was listening to him as she found herself drawing in his deep oceanic eyes Can I have chance to date you? Can I kiss you? He said, gaining a slight note from them. He grabbed the back of her head before he leaned to kiss her. Meanwhile, far from them, Junko clenched his fist and kicked in the air before he mumbled to himself, "I lost the chance." Then he turned around and walked past from there hopelessly. The end.